Well, welcome back into the Mid-Norfolk Garden. This is the new area in the garden that we're currently developing up. It used to be an old swimming pool, which really was past its use by date, and the decision during the build to fill it in was made back in October last year. And since then, progress on its landscaping has been very slow up until about a few weeks ago when things really motored. So the pool's gone, as you can see. The paths have been formed using a compacted basically crushed red brick that really forms a nice bed for this gravel and then we've edged it now with these flint boulders that I went and collected from the local gravel pit they're in the spoil areas obviously too big for them to sell individually but I was allowed to pick them out and they charged me just under 30 pounds a ton for those and they've made a really nice hard landscaping edge to the, the border they're not concreted in because we expect quite a bit of settlement on this land. So the decision rather than to try and put hard landscaping in at this stage, I think is a very wise one. And they will probably stay there forever. It forms a really nice rustic form of edge. And I think by the time we've got this top dressing on, which has been delivered today, had a pallet load of spent mushroom compost, 40 bags out of the 60 I've ordered have delivered. We've brought those round. Luckily, had the mini digger still on site and he was able to pick the whole pallet up and bring it just to the edge here and I've just barrowed them out. I'm going to put 10 on each of these borders this afternoon and it does do a very nice dressing. Let me just show you this little area. We've opened one sack and dressed around the lavenders. It's a really nice broken up composted horse manure and straw. Mushroom compost, spent mushroom compost really is a great soil improver, not too much nitrogen in it and that will be the finished effect that I'll get when these borders are top dressed. Now the soil that we brought round came from the, the paddocks where we have been putting in a secondary car parking area and service area for both this build and the next stage of the barn conversions that we're doing here on the farm. So it's good topsoil but it's not been cultivated and as such it's quite cloddy clay with some areas of sand. It's a whole mix but it's not finely sieved or sterile soil so that's why we're putting this top dressing on quite thickly with the mushroom compost and allowing the worms to break that down and carry it down into the soil below which should really improve this soil. Roses we planted in here, the one we've moved from the patio, shooting away already, just look at this one great big red buds coming on it. We've also started to split catnips. This is the Peter Six Hills Giant I think that uh, we had an awful lot of that's been struggling with competition in the borders and I think it'll do really well here and it will actually really reinvigorate these plants to be split and divided and put into some fresh soil. So we've got a line of them on this aspect. It's going to be the long aspect down to the bench that we're going to paint up and have there and repeat planting on this side and I think Kate's planning on putting repeat planting down on either side of the far avenue as well which I think will look very good. The other big win in this garden since we've opened this old bit of lawn up and put a gravel seating area we haven't quite finished the top dressing on this extending the pebbles around the back but just look at that euphorbia in the sunlight with the dark you hedge behind it and the gravel in front really didn't notice that before and taking that little retaining wall down from the old swimming pool that used to run you can just see the end butcher still sitting in there against the house but that's really brought those three plants absolutely alive this season as they get more light I think they're going to be better and better also looking forward to the iris border from this aspect we're going to increase the depth of the gravel in front of it and just run it through the iris in front and the uh, cedar behind which again is really enjoying the extra light that it's getting. So I've got a bit of a job on with this stop dressing, emptying these bags, spreading it out, quite looking forward to seeing the end result. 40 of them to empty. Hope it's not too smelly and it's not going to be a dog attraction this manure top dressing. It's nicely mature composted so I really don't think I'm gonna to have too much trouble with these three digging in it but say that now we will find out thanks for watching we'll update you in a couple of uh, days show you the progress